Hello everyone, it's Momentary Flux. Welcome back to Factorio. We're working on our we're working on our ever improving minimalist factory which uses Bob's mods where our technology <coughs> excuse me. Where our technology is our, our way to keep things minimalist. In the vanilla game, the only way to really uh, improve production once you max out on technology is to add more. But because there are different uh, levels of technology and ever increasing, um, ever increasing speed and efficiency technologies, we can make keep this minimalist, keep it small, but fast and productive. Okay, and I think you're seeing now uh, what sort of capabilities you can have even with a small factory, or at least I hope so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out some space here. I want to make uh, gem production this time so I can make some of those cool uh, high damage laser batteries and whatever else may need gems. I'm not really too sure. This is all kind of new territory for me. So let's get some. Con let's uh, finally make our. finish our, our rectangle here. Now look at those Mark IV bots. Those things are amazing. Okay. Speaking of Mark IV bots, before I do get started here, let me run over here. Um, I'm doing sort of a capture thing here for the Mark I bots. And these are getting made again. Uh, but I'm not really, I'm, I haven't been capturing the, the construction bots because they, <coughs> they were already being made. Or excuse me, not, not being made, but there was also, there were already some of those Mark I construction bots in the logistics system. I'm pretty sure that we've already used them all. I'm going to go ahead and remove the caps on these boxes. So I want to set up a little trap here, which needs a filter inserter if I don't have one. Let's make one. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put some circuit network wire on there. Or actually, no, I don't need to do that, do I? I just need to put the filter in here. Uh, I was going to do it with wire, but it's a filter inserter. So I want Mark 1 construction bots. If they go take a rest in this, they get yanked out and they get put into a box. And these will be recycled and upgraded. Okay. So let's see here. This is full. I want to make sure everything. So output, output, output. What are you missing? Flying robot frames. And the frame is being built. We uh, last episode we had a silicon nitride crunch. We had some uh, Mark One ovens and assembler. Well, not assemblers, but. Uh, it was just a slow system, so we've sped it all up, and now that should be getting, getting cranking out. I really love seeing those uh, purple robots fly by. They're so fast. Okay, so one other thing is I made a second, a second exoskeleton. So let's plop that in. It'll be really fast now. All right. So, make some more assemblers here. I guess I, I, uh, <coughs> I probably don't need any more electric engines right now. So I'm going to do knit and all bearings. So I'll request those and then I'll be able to make these uh, better assemblers here. I'm sure why I keep coughing. Sorry about that. Okay, so that was the final uh, laser thing there. So what I want to work on is I want to work on these batteries now that require the polished uh, gem stuff. Okay, so actually let's look at gems here. So gems, there are one, two, three, four, five, six kinds of gems. There are three levels of gems, and in between, uh, in between the second and third, or 
in between these different levels, there are new requirements. So there are grinding wheels and water, and then there are polishing wheels and polishing compound. Okay. So what this area is going to be is just going to be the big grid of um, six. Let's see here. I'm going to try to center this up. That's six. Yeah, that's centered. Uh, and then I'll leave two spaces between each row, and that should leave room for um, pipes and inserters. I hope. <laughs> okay, I just need one more, some more of these. Okay, so let's just do one chain and then we can sort of replicate the process across the board. Oop, missed one. Got the wrong one here. Okay, we want that one to be polished rubies. Okay, so we got water here. So water will come across. Let's just um, outline this here. Okay, so if that's water. We'll be able to put an inserter there. It'll reach over the, the pipe. So what we need... Um, so I'll be able to put inputs for this over here and inputs for these over here. And also, I guess I could just do this sort of like this. Like that. And so these would go here. Oop. These would go there. These would go there. And then our final product will come out, pop out the other end like a piece of toast. When it's done, okay. I suppose I should stop using these uh, fast inserters really and just stick to the stack inserters. Okay, so th what this one needs to be is this one actually needs to be a long-handed drop. So let's put that there. And uh, since I have that up, I'm going to go ahead and put those all there. Okay, so long-handed drop. Uh, so this needs grinding wheels. So what do grinding wheels need? So a grinding wheel is silicon carbide and steel. Now I'm pretty positive we're not making silicon carbide. Powdered silicon and carbon. So the powdered silicon is part of what we upgraded last time over here. So we have that stuff now, and I think it's being... Is it being made fast enough? Yeah. How's this looking? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new assembler for silicon carbide over with our gems. Because that one seems to be pretty much full up. So we'll do another one here. Um, before I do that, though, actually, let's see. Maybe if, I, if I put one here, let's do it. There's also the grinding um, or polishing wheels, so let's let's take a look at that polishing wheels. Okay, so steel and synthetic wood—that's easy. And polishing compound is alumina. And light oil. Now I don't have. I'm not making light oil, so that pr presents a bit of a, an issue. Um, I think I can tap off of our cracking and do that. I'll have to go. I'll look at that last. Okay, so let's see here. We'll make this one the grinding wheel, and this one the polishing wheel with synthetic wood.
Let's get 200 of these guys. And 200 of these guys. Same here. Okay, it looks good. Uh, so now, that I just have one final thing. It needs that light oil. What was it? A polishing compound? The heck is that? Bullet projectile. Hmm. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff I haven't investigated yet, so I, I, I intend to. I intend to look at all everything in this series. <coughs> so we'll get around to it eventually. And these ones polished diamonds. Okay, I, I think it's just ever increasing rarity for these. All right, let's get up there. Uh, polishing compound. Alumina, which we do have, and light oil. Oh. Uh, and what does that mean? That's made in a chemical factory. Okay, so here would be our light oil. So let's get a tank for that. Let's... Where are we at? Uh, let's, let's move it on over here. I think what I could do probably is I, I could just put a pump here. And... Um, And just pump that, pump that oil over here. the The only the only problem is that this this is going to depend on a surplus of heavy oil, which is n there is no guarantee that I'm going to have a surplus of heavy oil. Because this this pump only turns on when um, there's eight thousand, and you can see we're actually draining draining our oil right now. We, right, yeah, the train must have just got here, but um, hmm. yeah, all the uh, hopefully this will hit up hit up to eight thousand and turn on. Um, yeah, I'm trying 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 to think about this because I can put a wire, I can put a circuit network condition on this, where. I only pump oil into here if they're under a certain condition. Yeah. But or else all basically all of the all of the light oil is going to go in here until this tank fills up. And this is a big tank. Maybe we should just make a small tank. Do I have any small tanks? I think I'll just make a small tank. That holds uh, 2400 or whatever it is. And that way this will fill up quicker. And then the system will go back to making petroleum gas and whatnot. Okay, yeah, I, th I think that's going to work. It's going to sort of... We might run low on petroleum gas for a little bit, but otherwise it should be fine. Alright. So now, what did I need? I needed a chemical factory. And put that here. And the chemical factory needs to make polishing compound. Alright, so we got the light oil, and now we just need some uh, alumina, and we need some more for it to go. Lumina and let's let's boost that to 400. Looks good. Got our light oil, and when, as soon as some of that arrives, we should get some uh, get some being made. I'm wondering if I should productivity module this just to sort of conserve on the on the light oil. I think I will, and I think I'm going to limit this to 
one row, which is should be about if, if these are 200 stacks, that'll be that'll be 2,000. So that should be more than enough. Nope, it's 100 stacks, so 1,000 still should be enough. Okay, so we got that stuff going. Now we can get back to our gem making. So it looks like we have all the ingredients that we need. So let's let's do this. Uh, we don't need that. We just need the wheels. Let's do 200. And we'll do we'll just follow through with the 200 on everything here. Oh. Gotta highlight it. 200 of those, 200 of those. There's gonna be a backlog of that polishing compound for a while, but it'll, I, I hopefully it will catch up. Okay. And then we just need an output for the final product. Let's call in some ore. Now I do have my train set up where my train has a condition that I believe it's 2,000 of these ruby ore. So I'm, uh, I think just by the process of using up some of the other stuff, we might run into a problem with that, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm aware of it at least. So I'll we'll have to come back to it. Okay, so we got 20 output there. We've got them coming in here. We just don't have grinding wheels yet. <coughs> nice. Okay, it's finished up another tech tree with the laser uh, ammo. So now we can do the la finish up the tech tree with the laser damage, laser rifle damage. So why aren't the grinding wheels being made? No silicon carbide. Oh yeah, I, I said I wanted to make another silicon carbide. Assembler, so I will do that. Let's just do a search. I guess it's not, um, it's not an assembler. Silicon carbide is in a Chemical furnace. Okay. I've got those. I don't have these electric twos for. I don't know. Okay, I want a multi purpose. I need a Mark II, or I want a Mark II. Let's make it. Let's make a couple. Okay, silicon carbide, there you are. Carbon and powdered silicon. Let's give you 400. Twenty thousand iron plates per hour. Nice. How's how's the carbon? <coughs> Still a surplus. Hopefully that'll fill up. Okay, so now we should get some grinding wheels. And uh, we just need water. There's water. And, uh, okay, so there goes the intermediate cut rubies. And now we need I'm actually going to I'm gonna cut that out for a minute. What I want what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, blueprint the Ruby one and just copy it over. Might as well just clean that out. Okay, so we need one more long-handed drop. And we should have an output. 
I'm going to kill this just for a minute because I want to blueprint this and I don't want to bring in a bunch of ore. So let's see here. Uh, let's grab a blank blueprint and we'll just do this six times. Is that six? I think so. Alright. Uh, I'll just pick up these undergrounds and replace them with straight pipes. There we go. Snip the end one there. And uh, put this back to rubies. Okay, and then I can just change all of these to the other uh, gems. So the next one is sapphire, emerald, amethyst, topaz, oops, wrong one, topaz, and diamond. That. Oop. Uh, the intermediate and then the final ones. And I think when these diamond ones finish too, that'll be nice because I'll be able to um, copy all these requirements here. I think actually 100 will be fine. Or no, it's only two. Uh, yeah, uh, what I was going to say is when the diamonds get made, I'll, uh, I'll be able to make a diamond pickaxe, which would be cool. Not that my titanium one is any terrible. It's super good already. all of them. <clears throat> Looks like uh, as we've gone along we're getting some outputs. Let's put a limit. Um, I think half a stack or half a half a row will be more than adequate. All the various gems. Cool. <laughs> There's going to be a backlog on those for a while, but that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to look I'm gonna look at some uh, look at some stuff here. I'm going to look at the, the laser batteries. I got interrupted by a text there. I'll, uh, I'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, so batteries. So laser rifle battery case. Is this the case? No, that's just a battery. So where's the case? Case. So it just needs plastic. Okay. So it needs the case, which we can we can set up an assembler for the case. We've got the rubies and batteries. I guess we could just make maybe like one stack of each kind. So if I made three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I don't think I need to make this one. This is just the, the basic one that doesn't require any gems. So what, I, yeah, I guess what I'll do here is since this is already set up with six.
I need to make some more uh, assemblers. What I can do is I can just I can draw them straight from the boxes and put them into battery production. Okay. We'll just do one and I'll blueprint this again. Okay, so we don't have the cases yet, but I can I can make those. Two hundred here. We'll remove that. What I would do is I just make the <coughs> battery cases here. I have no idea where they are. Oh no, there they are. I see them. Okay, so these just need plastic. see here I need a inserter and I'll get those going and I think I just I think one stack is gonna be more than enough each one of these I believe has 50 shots so that's gonna be that's gonna be more than more than I'll ever need uh, actually what, what am I doing I'm going against what I just said <clears throat> I don't need a square of those anymore so Let's do this. All right. And I'll just switch these out. need to change up the different uh, battery types so these need normal batteries that's good these need lithium ion batteries instead of the regular batteries Let's yank those <clears throat> there'll be some leftovers in there but that's all right um, lithium ions here too silver zincs Silver zinc here too. Okay. So now all I have to do is just yank out all these uh, old batteries. I can just put them in here. All right. Now we got all the different kinds of the various batteries. Suppose I'll take some diamonds, right? Being the best and all. Okay. Let's just get rid of some of this spare stuff that I have here. Clear out some of these blueprints. All right, I'm pretty satisfied. This is a just like a nice little, nice little assembly area over here. I'm thinking I could have probably done, gone with a belt here, but um, it might have got a little bit tricky with the different battery types, three different battery types. But otherwise, just these uh, battery cases. I think I'm okay with. Well, I'm okay with it being logistics network though. Alright, cool. I'm gonna look at my list over here. Yeah. 
just checking out my list. Uh, I'm going to pull up the map. Uh, what I want to do in the next episode is I want to go over here to my old factory area. And I want to sort of reorganize it. Um, I want to make some Mark IV RoboPorts and sort of map out a uh, logistics slash construction area. Uh, I'm planning on converting this this entire area maybe just to some uh, upgraded solar where these are the Mark I large solar panels and Mark I lar or high capacity accumulators. But now that I have the gems and the, uh, all the different things, the circuit cards and stuff I need for the better, the better solar. Sorry. So I can find those solar panels. Um, I'm going to research the technologies for these guys. And I think there's another step too, yeah. Electrum. There's a good use for Electrum. So I'm going to get up to the Mark III solar panels and I want to make uh, that area a high power uh, solar farm. So that's, uh, that's my next plan. I also need to make a tour of all of my various outposts to make sure that everything, um, that there's still resources available, pick up the old drills, rearrange things where necessary, possibly set up some new outposts. So that's uh, what's coming up next. Uh, but for now, I want to say thanks everybody for watching and go ahead and like and uh, subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.